loaded with nightclubs, uh, late night spots, after hours clubs, and all of them infused with great musician. And it was just a great sense of freedom, self-expression that you felt uh, when you were able to, uh, to hang out in Harlem late night. of the Harlem Late Night Jazz, but tonight we're at the Apollo Theater, the historic Apollo Theater, where the Jazz Foundation of America is having their great night in Harlem. My first Harlem jazz experience, in any real sense, was the Apollo Theater. And the Apollo to, to uh, theater, to me, when I first came to New York, was like fine in heaven. For eight bucks, you catch three of the baddest groups or some of the greatest artists in the world, all coming through and playing the, playing the Apollo, not just for the money, but because it was the Apollo Theater. It was part of the in Harlem culture, is African American culture, it's, it's global black culture. And the Apollo was the centerpiece of it. <laughs> that has its values in order. Yeah. Saving jazz and blues, one musician at a time. That kind of dedication to a call seems more and more difficult to come by these days. But here we are, keeping alive tones, history, and the notes, lives, live in real time. And in that spirit, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Jared Lillian, President yes. of the Jazz Foundation of America. the musicians, the audience, and the JFA because they've been working so hard this year helping the artists in New Orleans. They've been hit again with major storms and the JFA is always very instrumental in helping the artists there get back on their feet. I think it's so important. I thank them so very much for the work that they do in New Orleans, in New York, and all over the world with jazz musicians. So I'm glad that they get a chance to just sit back, relax, and be entertained tonight, as well as all of us. Friday, Saturday, 11 to 4 a.m. We're going to have the heavy hitters. We're going to have the jazz masters. We're going to have the young lions. We're going to keep this culture going. And we're going to bring it back to our neighborhood, Harlem, which, by the way, is the best neighborhood in the United States. <laughs> 